Conversation with boy, you know why let the truth be told. Comment, share, and let's be friends. Friends, don't be a stranger. On this platform, I educate you, I empower you, and I entertain you through conversations. This is where I help you with your mental health. You know what to say? Your mental health? Change your mindsets and change your life. So I got you. We're in this together. Change your mindset and change your life. So I'm here to encourage you, empower you, and entertain you to change your mindsets. I come with that traditional culture, you know. Don't let the world define you. Define the world. Don't let the world define you. That's not what you want. If you think you want it, you don't know what you really, really, really want. Because that's a danger zone. A danger. Danger zone. So, define the world. Don't let this world define you. We're in this together. So, you know, I let the truth be told. So, to this conversation, let's get into it. Can you 100% trust anyone? And can someone 100% trust you? I don't really like the word loyalty because so many people define it differently. It depends on your definition of loyalty. But let's stick to the definition that we all know in the dictionary, that we all have access to. Not our own personal perception of the word loyalty. Because it can be a little scary. It can be a little scary some people how to define loyalty it can be a little scary to be honest with y'all can someone 100% trust you and can you 100% trust someone and my answer to that is no human beings are not to be 100% trusted are they trustworthy yeah let's start talking you know how in Matthew 7 I think it's in 15 and 20 I should just look it up right but I'm not going to but I think I might be right you will know them by their fruits, right? You will know them by their fruits. So, how can you know their fruits without tasting the fruits? Is it worth tasting it before you know it? Or, you know, right off the jump, that's not something you want. You don't, you don't even want to see it, left alone taste it. So most of the times, you don't need to taste the fruits to know all this information so let's have this conversation you will know them by their fruits please let me just break it down I'm not talking about actual fruits the war fruits um, it's not oranges or apple I'm not talking about actual fruits people pattern character behavior those kind of fruits their character traits that's the fruit I'm talking about. So, can you 100% trust anyone? Or can someone 100% trust you? Leave a comment down below. And another question. The ones closest to us, can they describe us accurately? America make it easy for us. They, they When you go apply for a job, it asks you for references. Are those references actually accurate? <laughs> huh? Let me not put some people's business out there before they say TZ. What is what's this he doing to us? Sorry, hold your phone. Forgive me. Let's trash that. Let's have this conversation. So, how do you know the fruits of someone? How do you know? And I say this over and over again, you know by getting to know them. But I used to love to hear people describe me, like how they would describe me. I used to I used to love to hear it. Like, what, what, what do you say about me? Like, how would you describe me? Who am I? I, I used to. I used to love to get answers. Now, mm-mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. no thank you <laughs> because 
people will know the version of you that they want to know people will know the version of you that they want to know so in that case they only want to know the version of you that they are able to carry so i feel like they that's the version they are comfortable with knowing about you so they just know a certain version of you to a certain extent that is befitting them and is that accurate can it be accurate absolutely not how can it be accurate when you are selectively choosing able to interact with you faithfully regularly so can you 100 percent trust anyone i was in the leave that one percent out for your own good leave that one percent out for your own good 100 percent trust our father who are in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come the, the lord of hosts jehovah that's who you 100 percent trust leave that one percent out when you trust a human being because you just never know you just never know you think you might know they can be as close as i don't know what what jesus told us a man enemy is a member of his own household a man's enemy is a member of his own household so you have to leave that one person out please please and the household can not just be people who you're living with but a household who you're surrounded by on a regular faithful basis who you the, your most closest your confidants who are you closest to who you take advice from you talk to you listen to you 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 enjoy the time they enjoy your time that sort of thing look out for people patterns your patterns they can't hide that they can't hide that they can try but they can't hide their pattern especially if they have not implemented any sort of changes you will know them by the fruits i promise you if you just open your eyes i will say this you you open your eyes to see more than just light you open your eyes to see facts to see the true person people can show you who they want to show you you have to be wise enough to connect the dots and know that this ain't adding up so you gotta add it up for them so people can also show you who they want to show you and leave the truth out and that's when you gotta apply wisdom that's when you gotta apply wisdom don't let them don't let them deceive you don't let them deceive you that's who they want you to know is that who they really are absolutely not but they can't hide because you can't just be who you're not for a while you're going to fumble it, it, it's going to come apart your true self is going to come out when that person showed you their true self mm, take it don't try to dress it up take it take it you might use it take it you might use it don't condemn them that's not what i'm saying but take it for what it is don't make it to what it's not because people can have who they are forever mm -mm. it don't be mistakes that was uh it's about time to get exposed watch out for patterns and habits Watch out for patterns and habits of who this person truly is. Pattern and habits. Can those change? Absolutely. If you're not changing, you're not growing. So can they change? Yes. And when I say watch out for pattern and habits, don't condemn anyone. The 
I'm not damn though because we are all oh, capable of changing. This person can be an alcoholic for years. And one day, suddenly, they change their life. Don't always see them as this alcoholic. Because that's in the past. They have moved past it. Based who they are now. And first who they are now. So habits and patterns can be broken for the better. But to know people by the fruits, you have to be observing. You have to be able to look through. Be like, ah, this ain't what you want. Okay. Certain people bring out different versions of you based on their character. And that's just what it is. That's just what it is. Obviously, there's some deep roots and morals, values, and principles that is still in you that is going to be applied to all. A version of you meaning your interaction with them, the level of connection and bonds you share with someone is all based on who that person actually is. That's the way the bond will be thicker and thicker and stronger and no one can break. No one can break. So Yes, who someone truly is, their principles, their morals, their values, their integrity, that's deep rooted in them. You can't buy those things. If you don't have it, you just don't have it. So, you know, I let the truth be told. You hear nothing but the truth. You know them by their fruits. And you don't need to taste the fruits to know their fruit is rotten. You don't need to. You do not need to taste the fruit to know that the fruit is rotten. So until we meet again for another conversation, please, please be mindful. Mm -hmm.